How's it going, everybody? SMS Show. And today we've got a very special episode with a special guest by the name of Bob Mule. He's actually one of the survivors of the ghost ship Oakland Warehouse fire that happened recently that took the lives of 36 to 38 people. Now, before we play the video interview with Bob, I just want to share my condolences with all the family members and friends of the victims. Um, you know, Bob is actually a survivor of the warehouse fire, and he expressed to me before the interview that he's, you know, he's just feeling some type of way. He's, he's very emotional, and I just wanted to talk to Bob just, like, on a really personal level and, you know, not really, like, be sad about it, but just wanted to level with him as a person. So, I hope... You know, nobody takes this interview the wrong way, but, you know, here's the interview with Bob, and uh, check it out. <laughs> What's going on? SMS show. That's right. We're hanging in the lounge. I've got a lovely guest here. By the name of Bob. Call him the homie Bob. Thank you, Bob. That was um, nothing less than beautiful, man. How you doing tonight? Happy Friday. Feeling strong. That's what's up. Tell me, tell me really quick, Bob. What what was that that you were doing, man? It was very soothing. Um, that is a Tibetan singing bowl, <clears throat> and uh, I just kind of started. Uh, playing one maybe like a year ago someone in the art collective that I lived in um, had one and I had never really been able to like play one until that moment and since then it's been a really uh, beautiful tool for just healing um, and like I don't know getting to it like a putting an intention out there through sound you know <laughs> That was, that was super dope. It was just like, I've never experienced that. And it really, it really did just relax me. Yeah, it, it, it brings you to like this place in yourself that's, that, that is of that resonance. You know, that's already in you. I honestly feel like you kind of did that. I, I really do. Like, I was just like really jittery just now. And then when I heard that, I kind of just, I just feel really chill, you know what I mean? Yeah. Thanks for coming by, man. Yeah. I mean. Thanks for having me over. You know, we met recently. in the neighborhood. That's what's up. You know. We were out here in the mission. Out here. We out here. <laughs> we out here. So, I mean, dude, I mean, we met. You got really great energy, man. You're, you're a positive dude. You're, you know. But you got a little, a little story, man. I, I had to ask you. I wasn't trying to be rude. But I was like, man, what, what happened here, man? It, was, it looks... Looks like I heard or something. Um, Tell me about that. Man, it's actually a very tragic event that's um, been happening here over the past week. Uh, last Friday, um, uh, I lived in an artist collective <clears throat> in Oakland, and there was a fire, and uh, there was a lot of people that didn't make it out. Um, you know, I was the first one to see the fire. Um, what do you mean? You were there in Oakland, where that big fire was, the warehouse fire? Yeah, that was my house. I lived there. That was your house? Yeah. Um, um, oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so there was an event. It was rather tame and small and gathered, and, like, you know, people were having conversation. It was, like, experimental synthesizer music and, like, live visual audio, uh, visuals, hmm. live visuals. <clears throat> and... Uh, you know, I was just getting ready to paint that night. I had to, I work in film production myself, you know, so I had to be up for work at 7 in the morning. Oh, wow. Um, or get to be picked up at 7 in the morning. Uh -huh. um, so I was just kind of taking it easy, you know, and without really going through a play-by-play -play of everything, um, you know, at a certain point, I was still inside, and a fire extinguisher wasn't working. It was all happening really quick. And I ran back into the fire, and... I was like, fuck, like my camera, my computer, shit, I'm gonna go, this is like the last, 
the last attempt and then I was like oh my in, god in my brain I was like oh my god and then I like saw my friend Pete who was my neighbor uh-huh and I was like, Neigh- like neighbor like on like another neighbor, building or like, neighbor in the same building like neighbor within the space like oh, okay. had, like like plywood like this thick you know like as walls with like some insulation so but this I was an art collective where like other people lived like yeah many yeah, people there, lived there, there was like 20 of us uh that lived there and oh. operated every day or, you okay. know some of us weren't there quite all the time some more than others you know yeah yeah um but you know uh my friend pete uh you know he's a bigger guy you know bigger guy he was coming down from the loft in his space and uh you know he had broken his ankle was calling out to me bob bob help me help me oh, i no. broke my i broke my ankle you need to pull me out oh and so my I just, gosh like, dude i grabbed wow. his wrist and i was like doing my best to like to pull him out and uh i guess in the time that i ran back into the fire saw him and then got back at, like pulling him i noticed like there, there was this bike that had fallen and like blocked my path. My path was not blocked on the way in there. That's crazy. You know, so it's like, 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 you're, you're, you're like, of course, like movie scenario of like, uh, yeah. go into the fire, something falls, your way back out isn't the same, you know? And like, then you have your homie who's like a bigger dude and you can't just throw him on your shoulder. Oh my god. You know, goodness. or like lift him up and, bre- and, and throw him over the barricade and then worry about yourself, you know? like. I had to like move. You actually some felt shit. the heat, right? Dude, I would like, imagine. I mean, it looks like yeah. you got actual burns. One yeah. on your hand. I mean, you know, like, I was, one on your I mean, on your um. Like my. This is crazy, like man. Head. I appreciate you. Oh wow, this is what is this? This is. I mean. This is from the burn. This is from the heat. The intensity of the heat. Oh my goodness! And so, like your natural yeah. human instinct, then I mean, at some Dude, point, my, my body, my my body in. just completely like froze like, up. Let, no, well, it didn't freeze up. It just like released, and I like I had to like let go of his hand. I just started oh screaming his goodness. name and screaming his name, and I had to like get all this sh- this stuff out of my way. And like, man, you know, it's like it's really tough. Like I had to leave my friend, you know, that's and, like, nuts, and, and that's man. that's the the craziest thing, you know. Not to mention all the other the other I think what was it the whatever the number is mm-hmm. of people who other people who lost their lives, you know, it's like, you know, their friends, their family, our friends, our family have to deal with that. But there's going to be this, like, what happened? Like, why didn't, and this and that. And, mm-hmm. you know, with Pete, I'm the only one that like, is like from that moment, it was like, it was like right there. Wow. You know, it's like, I have this image that I'm going to have to heal, heal with you know, or, yeah, or yeah. use to motivate me to like accomplish the things that me and P used to talk about. You know, he's the oh, type man. of dude who's like, I like, really knew this guy. Like, you dude, really kind of knew this guy. I'd walk into my space and I'd be like, yo, <coughs> yo, P. Hey, P. <laughs> he's like, you know, he's like, yo, he's like, yo, what's up, Bob? And I go, hey, man. That's, that's, and I just had to say it again. I go, what's up, Pete? You know, like, yeah. I, I'd yell at him through yeah. the wall, you know, like, we talked ideas, big ideas, you know, and it's like, Say you were talking about like, man, like I need a hundred bucks. Pete would be the dude to to tell you, be like, yo, a hundred thousand bucks. I like Pete already. Pete was, <laughs> Pete, was, Pete was the fucking man, dude. Like, shout out, shout out, Pete. Shout out, Pete. 